Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. Am I wrong for returning my homemade wife's birthday gift and telling her I don't want it? I then went out and bought what I actually wanted. I need an outside opinion on this. This has been an ongoing issue that I have talked to her multiple times about. My wife makes less money than me and is the type of person who prefers to make her own gifts for people. The issue is she will do this even if the person doesn't want this. I will use myself as an example. For the past few years, she has made every single gift I have been given. No matter what I asked for, I get a homemade gift. Doesn't matter if it's cheap or not. Last Christmas, I asked for a new few things and I got a homemade scarf. I always get her the stuff she wants. I have talked to her about this multiple times. My birthday was yesterday and I asked her to give me a book. It was only $25 and I sent her the link. I opened the gift and she made some homemade bookmarks. It wasn't even the type of bookmarks I like. They were made of fabric and I like the wooden ones. I must have made a face because she asked what was wrong. I told her I didn't want these. I made it so clear what I actually wanted and I have talked to her about it so many times. I handed them back and went out to buy the book. We had a big fight when I got back. She claims I'm being ungrateful and a jerk. I mean, that's nice that she's making a homemade gift, but if he's asking for something and sent her the link to something that he wanted, why didn't she get it for him? I mean, I feel like she could have gotten the book for him and made him the bookmarks. And that would have been so cute. <laughs> I don't think this person's being ungrateful. I feel like he's just over the fact that his wife isn't listening to him. So all of this could have been avoided. Fights could have been avoided if she just bought him the book, right? The fact that they're fighting over it now is just kind of stupid. I know you asked for a $25 book, but I just wanted to give you these bookmarks. Why don't you like the bookmarks? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, I don't get why she just can't get him the book. I mean, it's nice that she made him a gift, but it's not what he wanted and he made it clear. Man, I feel ungrateful too. <laughs> Am I wrong for snapping at my sister that she'll choke on her jealousy one day? I'm 21 and I have two siblings. My sister is 24 and engaged. My brother is 28 and married to my sister-in-law who's 25. My family hosted a family lunch to celebrate my sister's engagement at their house. I went early to help them set up. My brother and sister-in-law a little bit later than everyone else. My sister and her fiancé arrived at last. Everything was going well and everyone was happy until my sister got a text and pulled me aside. She asked me if I could go outside and meet a friend of hers who's going to drop off something off for her. The something was a big ball of pure happiness. A St. Bernard dog with a cute little formal tie around his neck. As adorable as he was, I couldn't bring him in because my sister-in-law is allergic. Her allergy is not severe but still. Everyone in the family knows of it. I told the friend to please wait while I talked to my sister. She did not. I texted my sister that I can't bring him inside. She texted that it was fine to bring it in because it's a surprise and here's the newest addition to the family. I insisted that I can't and then I texted my brother about it because it has been 10 minutes. I'm standing in the driveway with a big doggy that would not stop licking my legs, not knowing what to do. From what I was told inside, my brother pulled my sister aside and asked her not to bring the dog in. That she knows his wife is allergic. She refused, saying that it's an open space and that sister-in-law will be fine. He then told her the news that sister-in-law is pregnant. I already knew and they were waiting until she passed her first trimester. My sister then went outside, dragged the dog and then me in when I resisted. My brother seeing this excused himself and left with sister-in-law. We tried resuming the lunch after that but it was awkward at best. When my sister and her fiancé cut the cake, she grabbed her glass of champagne to make a toast. The toast was her rambling about how selfish my brother and his wife were, that they couldn't let her have one day to herself and had to ruin and overshadow it. That they were not the first or last couple to get pregnant. Both of my parents tried to shush her, but she was on a roll and went on to call sister-in-law an attention seeker that she just had to give her family the first grandchild. <laughs> attention seeker for being pregnant? Okay. I finally had enough and told her that Green isn't a good look on her and that she was going to choke on her jealousy one day. Then I got up and left. She called me a bitch on my way out. My mum called me after and told me it was a bit harsh, even if she was harsher. She also suggested that the three of our siblings talk it out after things settle a bit. My dad is staying neutral. I haven't heard from relatives that were at the lunch. Wow. Now this person's right. What is wrong with their sister? You should always take allergies seriously. The fact that she just disregarded someone's life because she wanted the attention is crazy. And then she got mad when she found out the sister-in-law was pregnant. Jealous. Because why would you be mad? You should be happy. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, we all know why she's jealous. She just said it. She's an attention seeker because she gives this family the first grandchild. <laughs> 
She's mad that it couldn't be her. Hmm. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.